Alright guys, so I'm going to skip over the problem solving with um, uh, Pythagoras' theorem because it's really easy to find the triangles, but I figured I'd help you out with the 3D Pythagoras problems because it can be a little bit harder to find where the right angle triangle is to solve these questions. So in this particular year, you're going to be required to solve some 3D problems using that theorem. You, you just need to look, you just need to think back to all the volume stuff that you've done before, um, shapes, all the geometry that you've done before, and you need to either break those 3D shapes down into simpler ones that have right angled triangles, look for straight lines, look for diagonals, anything to get you that right angled triangle, you need a corner of 90 degrees and that diagonal going across to form a right angled triangle. And you must always draw a diagram, because if you try to do it all in your head, you're going to mess it up. You need to draw a diagram to help you think through it, give you the measurements as you can work them out in your head or on the um, in your working out. So an example here would be, um, now I'm using the one just straight from the book, but I'm going to walk you through how to do it. Um, I've got a coffee mug that's 90 mils tall, 73 mils across in diameter. Um, completely filled with coffee. If a straw was to be dropped into this mug, what would be the minimum length it could be so it only just sticks out of the coffee so you can pick it up again. So the first thing is to draw that diagram. There you go, there's your mug, 73 mils across in diameter, 90 mils tall. And the first thing you need to think about is if the straw was dropped and it falls in place, what would happen? It's not going to just be dropped and stand directly, stand straight up and down. There's nothing to hold it. It's going to fall sideways, okay? And then, so if you dropped it in the middle, it would fall sideways. But because it's not going to catch on the bottom, it's going to slide across. So eventually it will be sitting from one corner and then be diagonal all the way to the furthest, um, so the corner at the bottom. So obviously it's a circle, but I mean the corner is in. Um, the bottom surface to the wall here it's going to sit in one spot there at the bottom and then it will lean on the furthest away spot in the circle but at the top lip of the mug okay so it will look like sort of like that if you put a stirrer in that was um, exactly as tall or exactly as long that it would just stick out um, from the top of the coffee it was filled in okay now you might look at this and go I don't see a right angle triangle well if it's at the very furthest point at the top lip to the very first point in the bottom corner you would have a right angle triangle through the center there you would have a right angle here and so the bottom edge would be 73 mils just like it is and you know the other leg is 90 mils going up so you have a right angle triangle now so we just need to do our Pythagoras maths to work out the answer of how long long the stirrer needs to be so the stirrer is what side of the right angle triangle the hypotenuse uh, let's call it x um, x squared is going to equal uh, 73 squared plus 90 squared x squared is going to be so let's work out what 73 squared is 5 3 my pen's going weird erase <coughs> 5 3 2 9 plus what is 90 squared 8100 so x squared is going to be those two added together plus 5329 it's 13429 and then what is the opposite of squaring something square root so you just need a square root 13429 to get what x is And it will be 115.88 millimeters. That's to two decimal points. So 
based on our calculations, this needs to be x is going to be 115.88 millimeters to two decimal points. That's the length the stirrer would need to be for it to just pop out of the um, top of the coffee if it was all filled up. All right, so hopefully that helps you out with these 3D problem solving um, with Pythagoras questions, and I'll see you on the uh, next video.